Plaintiff Andrew Young says the defendant was in a relationship when they met, but after she broke up with her ex, she and Andrew started dating. And two weeks later, they moved in together. Andrew claims while dating, the defendant cheated on him with her coworker, and he's suing her today for the value of a cell phone. Defendant Samantha Griffin says Andrew was extremely jealous, and he constantly accused her of cheating. Samantha insists she never cheated on Andrew, and she denies owing him for anything. Let's start with you. Uh, in April of 2015, or sorry, 2013, we mm -hmm. met. Uh, everything moved really fast, we became really good friends, but during that time she had an abusive boyfriend. Um, I tried to help her get through that and I tried to help her, you know, get away from him. Shortly after they broke Where up. Where did you know her from? Uh, our work. We worked together. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, shortly after they broke up, we started dating. And then two weeks after we started dating, we moved in together. And what month it, and year would you say that was? Uh, or year? It was, it was all in 2013. Okay. 13, you all year. moved in. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Uh, quick. Very quick, a little too fast, probably, but everything seemed so perfect between us, it just didn't feel like it could ever be a bad decision to okay. move in that fast. So, how could something so right go so wrong? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, in April of 2014, she uh, had a miscarriage, and she took it really hard. And uh, I was working 12 hours a day, five days a week, only one with a job at the point. And, uh, you know, I tried to be there for her, tried to do everything I could, but all my spare time, I helped clean the house, try to help her, but she seemed to distance herself more and more and more every, every day. When did you all break up? June 2015. So you won a year? Uh, yeah. In September of 2014, she got a new job, and she met a coworker there. They uh, started talking slightly here and there. The, as time progressed, she just started. To, they started talking more and more and more. Text messages just started to get deleted. Then they started using Snapchat, where you can't see anything or prove anything. So. Well, she wasn't that depressed. <laughs> to me, she was. Didn't want to be with me. So you discovered that in June of 15, or when did you discover it? Uh, probably sometime in January, February. I can't remember the exact Okay, date. and you just accepted it until June? Uh, well, I was trying to... Well, what happened was she uh, went to, told me she was going to dinner with a friend in Madison, but in reality went to somewhere other town mm -hmm. where... She said she wasn't, proclaimed she wasn't. Mm -hmm. And then I just pretty much was like, come on, just be honest, be honest. I'm willing to work with you if you're just honest. All right. Ma'am, what do you want to say about your relationship? Well, he alleges that um, you all started dating while you were getting out of another relationship. Sure did. We had oh. met, we, uh, we were both working together at a, a place. Okay. And um, I had a boyfriend. We had dated for a very long time. Things were <clears throat> quite rocky towards mm -hmm. the end. He started working um, at the place that I started working, and we started hanging out. Things, things were good. Things were great. Um, we we moved ridiculously fast. We, okay, and you moved really in in thirteen together. Yes. Okay. What was it like during that time? At first, things were great. They were. They were very very fun, and um, we had we had a lot of fun together. Um, afterwards, it started to get just. Ridiculous. What type of jealousy? Behavior? Just comp everything. Yeah. Every any person I go out with is you're cheating. You're doing this. You're doing that. All right. Well, um, let's get to that. He says in September of 14, he believes you began cheating, and it came to a head June of 15, and that's why you all broke up. What do you say to that? Yes. So I start. I at my different job, I switched jobs. I became the assistant manager. I have our store is so so small. We have very few em employees under us. You and us. the guy couldn't get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. No, I'll let you talk. Anything. I'm sorry. Don't let me interrupt. The workplace no. was very small. Yes. Go the ahead. The coworker that we're talking about, he had a problem showing up to work, showing up for shifts. And at a store this small, if a person doesn't show up, it's just me. Okay. I, need, I need somebody to be there and fill my shifts. So I did have to send text messages out and where are you and what's going on and are you going to come to work. Okay. I don't have anybody above me to take care of any of that stuff. And that's how our friendship, if you could say, did develop. Okay. All right. You never uh, began dating him? Absolutely not. Ever still? Nope. Absolutely right. not. Good enough. Sir, what about the cell phone you're suing for? Uh, through the course of our relationship, I allowed her to use one of the cell phones under my contract. I had two phones. I allowed her to use one. And uh, after the breakup, 
I told her that she had till mid June, July, I'm sorry, to return me the phone before I turned it off and get her own phone. So I was being fair, you know, get your own phone, go get it, and then give me mine back. I'm still making payments every month on it, $40 a month. And I suspended the line. When? Right after she told me on July 17th that okay. uh, I was, I had to take her to court basically to get the okay. phone back. Uh huh. Yeah, she told me I had to take her she to court. She suspended the line, and then she says, if you want this phone back, you gotta take me to court. Pretty much, yep. All right, and you, your response was? Uh, okay, fine. Taking her to court. We're yeah. here. Yeah, here we are. All right. Now, um, ma'am, what do you say to this? So, <laughs> for the whole year that we were together, we have had bills together. We've had bills separate. I've had a job the entire time. Mm -hmm. We went to yep, go buy yep, the phones. Like that six months. Let her finish. Sorry. Go ahead. We went to go buy the phones together. We were there at the time. We both made the purchase together. We both put our money down together to get two phones. He also got a phone that day. Now, when he moved out of my apartment, my apartment that he moved into, he moved out at the end of the month, left me paying the, the next month's rent all on my own. I, I didn't did not, offer to give you money? I didn't offer to help you? I Let did, her finish, sir. I did not take him to court for the amount of money that he did not pay me because it's my apartment and my lease. I did not hit him up for the money. Nothing like that. That's what happens when you break up, you break up. And things aren't planned for and things aren't accounted for. While you all were together, yes. was there any monies determined to be or debts determined to be separate or did you commingle your money? Well, In other words, no one kept count of who owes what or who is responsible for what? Not at all, until we broke up, and then when we broke up, okay, it was this Okay, but while fine, together for an entire yep, year, completely. you lived it was, together, we were together, and no money was discussed as to who owes nope. whom for nope. the things that were purchased. Nope, we didn't even split bills. You pay me this or you pay me that. Did it was not. just, here's my check, here's your check, this is what we have together. And where would you all put it? You have a joint account? We had a joint bank account. And that's where the money came from. Yes, it did. To pay the bill. But his name was the primary got account. Got I'm just trying to see how you all use yes. your money yep. in your household. It was a joint account. Yep. The phones, were they purchased with that joint account? Yes, they were. Absolutely, they were. Sir? Yes, they were. Okay, so what about all the other things that were purchased on the joint account? You don't want those? Well, it's like charter. You got a lot, huh? TV, charter. Yeah, TV is more expensive than the phone. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You're right. Do you want that back? No. Same circumstance. Bought it on the joint account. Actually, it's still being paid for to this day. All right, I understand, but it was purchased on a joint account with the intention of it being paid for from that joint account, or not. All right. All right, you're right. That, I'll take that as a yes, <laughs> meaning I'm going to divide the cost of this phone in half. Those were joint assets, joint debts, joint account. So therefore, when you disjoin, you each pay half. That's my judgment. 395 is your judgment, half of what you're asking for. Have a good day. I think we can put this behind us and move forward about it. Honestly, I hope this makes you learn a lesson. I do.